it we told you about it and then i expected you to be having it and then yes let's look at it press of transcription i don't need to repeat this because i told you that guys that if they don't whenever they bring this they're gonna have to bring uh, at least they're gonna have to bring at least what uh, here is what i told you that uh, emphasize this before and then yes so six marks all the red thing means the marking point say that it's dna double helix unwinds yes we hydrogen bond break unwinds hydrogen bond break so here there was another point which they include now to form two separate strand yeah then if you don't write it because you have too many uh, points we can talk about but if you wrote it is good because that's the best to form two separate strands one strand act as a template uh, to formation of messenger rna using free floating nucleotide from nucleoplasm a messenger rna co is complementary to uh dna whereby a goes with u and c goes with g and then yes and then you're saying that the messenger rna now has a coded information for protein uh synthesis which moves out of the nuclear pore out of the nucleus via the nuclear pore to the ribosome in the cytoplasm so basically that's you that's what you're supposed to explain transcription guys i didn't expect you to have any challenge with this because I emphasized it that you can't go to the paper without knowing that then we go to the next question which is uh, so the transcription i expect you guys to get those six marks we call it those marks Three max mahala max <clears throat> sorry guys and then we go to the next question they're saying that the diagram B represents uh meta phase one meta phase one of meiosis identify molecule b guys this is a cell membrane I told you that mm, when the cell is under metaphase anaphase we don't have a uh, nucleus we all nuclear membrane we only have cell membrane so the answer here is cell uh, membrane <coughs> state one function of a function of a is to produce a production of spindle fiber which are used to hold the chromosomes in their position yes explain the explain explain the contribution of meta phase one meta phase one in natural selection so in this case they're looking at how is this meta phase one going to help us uh to bring <laughs> to bring about variation remember variation is the one which help us to survive to survive in the what uh in the environment so how is that going to help us to bring about to uh variation yes that's the meaning uh now that's the, what they're trying to mean in that regard all right so uh let's talk about it and then we see how we're gonna solve uh, that out you're saying that um, uh, you, you, what you need to explain is that um uh, this uh uh, profess homolo chromosomes align along the equator in homologous pair chromosomes align along the equator in homologous pair randomly this results in different combination of chromosomes yes for example if this one is this side automatically now when it divides it, it will be going this side the other one will be going the other side what if this one is here automatically they will form different combination so they because they align along themselves along the equator randomly we don't know which one is which side so they create different um different what different chromo different uh gametes yes these gametes they have different chromosomes and then these different chromosomes they help us in uh forming different individual who are going to suit or who are going to adapt to the environment differently that's why you don't resemble your sister you don't resemble your brother you don't resemble your mother why because of the different uh, combination or you have one two characters you resemble your sister or your mother yes hmm. uh, and the others they resemble their neighbors <laughs> i don't know how did you resemble your name yeah having don't say that you don't resemble. haven't you ever gone somewhere and then someone say that Oh, when I you resemble someone I know, 
How did you resemble that person? Anyway, mm -hmm. maybe the father was a great man. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Or the mother was a great man. I don't know. Great lady. I don't know. So you tell us. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next explain. So the contribution here, you have to talk about that. You basically you describe mera phase and how does that mera phase bring about the variation the homologous uh, aligning themselves along the equator randomly in homologous pair yes results in a different combination of this so if you go to the uh, distinction material book yes still you will find those points uh, stipulated very well uh, when you are discussing about the variation yes Describe the, the diagram below shows four possible daughter cells formed at the end of this uh, meiosis. All right, so draw the cell, the cell D, the cell D, including the fourth chromosome. So here they want just to see the variations which are happening. When I was explaining to this, someone asking me yesterday that, uh, sir, do we need to shed it? I told them, yes, you need to shade because those variations, those shaded areas, they mean max. So I know that uh, some of you, this one gave you a headache. Uh, how did you find it? But it was just a very simple thing. Let me show you. <clears throat> you come here. So the, the way how these chromosomes move is that all these, they will go, the last one, they will go in one cell, the middle one, go in another cell, they, they go in another because they separate by two, two. You understand so now if we say that black white black black so i will look for one black one white three blacks so it means that's that cell then i continue i go to black and white black and white black and white black and white so i'll look for the one which has black and white black and white black and white so it's this one it has black and white black and white black and white also this one black and white black and white black and white black and white so you'll see that it's the next cell which has black and white what about now this this one has white black white white so it means that he has two three whites one black when we come here we have two whites and then one black it means that the next one is a white one but how does it look like so this one you see the carvings are for this one yes this one you see the carvings for this one then automatically the one which is missing is this so it means that you are supposed to draw this cell again and then you add a white one and then it's supposed to show how straight it is everything the way it is that's how it's supposed to be done and then maybe you put the the labels you label them and then you put a caption so that one mark for caption one mark for label and one mark for drawing a corrective maybe diagram whatever marks they will be allocated so as long as you drew it the way i'm telling you yes so guys you see mouses mouses tend to be simple but difficult when it or complicated when it comes to the paper but you just have to keep on revising